like Godzilla vs. Kong, we have two tyrants to evolve today. We got the magnificent Monolo Rhino and a surprise this week, the incredible Gemini Titan. Just need one power up, but thanks to the epic DNA requests, we have done it. Thank you everyone in the Alliance for this. This has been fantastic, Ludia. You deserve an A+. I am so happy we have these epic DNA requests. So let's just go ahead and collect this. Perfect. And I know I already need more coins, so <laughs> let's just go ahead and spend a whole bunch on the vault. Oof. All right, so to start off, we're gonna level up this ghastly strong Gemini Titan. 20, I'll take it. Two hundred thousand to level up. Oof. But we're gonna do it. Oh, seven thousand nine hundred health, two thousand attack. Oh, Gemini, you gracious being. That's gonna be so useful in PvP and in raids. And now on to Monolo Rhino. After last season, we have plenty of Rhino DNA to take this level twenty-eight and further beyond. So. Let's figure out how strong we can make it. 150 just gone like dust powder in the wind. So let's see, 14, 47 attack and 5,333 health. I need to put way more boost on this guy. But we got, what is it, 11 power-ups we can do? Let's just see what we can do. 10, that is not what I wanted, but I'll take it. So yeah, 10 more after this. 20, so 10, 200, so I don't think we'll get it to level 29 today. But if we continue working on this all throughout the week, we can get it to 29 next week, I think. Possibly. If I don't want to work on Gemini Titan more. Or even Titanobo, I've been working. Another 10, come on! <laughs> you stingy, stingy computer. 30, okay. At this rate, we're not going to get anywhere close to level 29. Come on, give me 50. 20, okay. That's better. Better, better, better. Uh, 40. Halfway there. Four more power-ups. Okay, I don't think we'll actually get this to level 29 next week if we keep on getting this. If we keep on getting these 10s, that's definitively a no. Because we've got three more power-ups. 200... Gosh, it's going to take so much Rhino DNA. 30. Okay, we got two more. 20. Not bad. So we got 150 more, which would mean... A bunch load more of Rhino. <laughs> and the last one... There's 20 there. So 370 out of 500. That's not too bad. Not too shabby. I need to open up another DBI so I can get another health boost. And now, before we go into battle, let's check out the weekly calendar event for this week. It is a toothy filled Velociraptor week with Deinonychus and Velociraptor as the commons, Delta, Charlie, Echo, and Utah Raptor for Wednesday and Thursday rares. Friday and Saturday, Blue, Pyro Raptor, and Dakota Raptor. Ooh, my Magna is actually really close to level 30. Ooh, I may. Hold on, sidetracking. Ooh, actually, I have more Pyro Raptor DNA than I expected. Hmm. I might go for a combination of Pyro Raptor and Blue this week for darting, because Blue is exclusive. And then the Sunday, I'm seeing a trend here and I'm really liking it, Ludia. Allo Raptor and Endogen 2 for the legendaries. One attempt on either one. I am totally going for Allo Raptor. That is, I think, the coolest Raptor in the game. And probably the most lethal one. I love it. The important incubators for this week. Tyrannosaurus Rex for Friday. That's always helpful because I have been working on a tournament slash sanctuary Tyrannosaurus Rex. 
just so many incubators all throughout the week. This is fantastic. Okay, I'm liking Raptor Week. I dig it, Ludia. I dig it. So now, something we've not done yet on the channel that I wish to do sometime soon once I figure it out is live stream the tournaments. So let's just go ahead and knock out a few battles and see if we can't get a little bit higher before I try again tonight. Oof, what is this? This could be interesting. Uh, let's start... I am almost... Oh, gosh. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to start with Marsupial Lion since we have two swap-in options. Oof. Okay. If he plays this right, I am certainly dead. Yep. Let me just turn that off, too. Since he's faster... Okay, so I am going to use Prowl here. That cleanses damage over time, right? Yeah, it does. It should. And Fierce Impact, dodge. Thank you! And how much attack does he have? 1,000. So he's done Fierce Impact, Lethal Wound. He can only do Fierce Strike, which is not powerful enough to kill me, but he'll, he could swap into something else. But I'm going to do Minor Rending Takedown, and he does swap. It's going to be a Draco Rex. 1,100 damage here. Poop. I should have done the Rending Takedown. Anticipating that, since I knew it was either going to be the small attack or a swap in. 2,000 critical hit here. Let's go ahead and swap into this guy. Hopefully get the stun here. I have like a 66 or 75 percent chance. One of the two. Yes. Okay. So now he'll try to do the stun. But if it doesn't work, then I can kill him with this. All right. Here's the stun. No crit. Thank goodness. Oh, and it, he didn't get the stun. Oh my goodness. Perfect! Okay, so he's down one. He's got a Spino with less than 2,000 health left. What else you got? A Carnotaurus, something I've not seen in the tournament yet recently. Let's see... Um, he's probably going to do Taunting Shield because I can't get past that, so I'll stun him first. Hopefully. Ooh, a critical hit here, and no stun. Oh, that's going to hurt. Vulnerability Strike, that's interesting. So what I'm going to do now is dig in. Unless he swaps into ooh, his own. Okay. Well played. I should have used dig in the turn before. But now I have... A Mars... Should I send out Mars? No, I won't send out Mars yet. I'll send out this guy. Pearlip. If that's how you pronounce it. He's gonna do his big resilient strike here. I'm gonna do. Oh, no, he's gonna do digging. He's going for the swap out, but I prevent him from swapping, so this is gonna be interesting. So he'll go, he'll go for stun next turn, that's what he'll do. Ferocious strike here. Beer, my ferocious panther crocodile. Which would be a terrifying combination of genes, actually. Uh, let's see here. He is gonna try and stun, so let's just do the shield just in case it doesn't work. Cool. Okay. You got lucky that time. But you're not. Won't be so lucky this time. I'm gonna do the shield here because it'll prevent more damage from next turn. 1350. Oh, I actually should have done the uh, defense shattering would not have actually done anything there, but it will here. It'll get past the shield. Dig in. So let's see. So I'm gonna win this battle. He's not going to get past this. He's gonna try and get a stun here, which. 
still will not get him out of the clear. So I'll do a ferocious strike. Just in case. Okay, you annoying thing. You got this done. Congratulations. I'm going to heal here. The grind game is hard. But losing tournament battles is harder. Alright, so he still has a Spinosaurus. Which, actually, yeah, he will get the guaranteed win here, since I used the heal just before then. But I have a Draco Rex that I could send out and kill, but then he'll swap to something else. Hmm. Okay, so let's just go ahead and kill off Perlith right there. I, I feel like I should have played that much better. Draco Rex comes in. Now, who's your final guy that you're going to swap into? Who are you going to swap into? Because you're not going to take this loss Tournament is life. Oh yeah, Carnotaurus. I knew that. Ooh, but I could do this, and then I can do with the instant charge next turn. Yes! Haha! <laughs> Perfect! Ho oh, hoi, mateys! Another win in the bucket. I know, I, I can score a bunch more, don't worry. But this is the team I'm currently using right now, and I will be climbing the ranks later tonight. So if you enjoyed the video, click on that subscribe button so you never miss an upload, and I'll see you next time. Bye!